how such prejudice that we hold can cause some disruption within class, within our lives. So let's um, start with uh, first thing, speech, talking about a person or group behind their back, um, avoidance, distancing themselves of disliked group or members, discrimination, excluding all members of that group and segregating yourselves or segregating themselves. And then comes physical attack. Prejudice may lead to acts of violence or semi-violent. Now, speech is a negative or verbal remarks against the person, group or community are not addressed directly to the target or the person. Generally referred to as talking behind someone's back, you'd whisper something in someone else's ear and then it causing a person's psychological view within the cognitive mind of the other person who's receiving it. Then comes avoidance. When someone's telling you about something, then you start avoiding that specific individual. At this level, people seek to avoid the group or individual who have been stereotyped, like speech. This seems harmless at the beginning. One has the right to choose one's friends, I agree. And choosing not to be friends with a particular group or people does not seem so awful. But the trouble is that lack of contact and friendship with a group or person leads to ignorance about them or about their the way they are the way they behave and ignorance in turn leads to stereotyping fear and prejudice okay and then comes acts of discrimination where the group start talking about the person behind their back start laughing at them and the unwanted group or individual is now kept out of some social circles. Gordon Orpel basically went on to neighbourhoods, shopping areas, social clubs, schools, churches, gatherings, places, what have you. But in the context of our classes, we'll talk about social circles more. There are unwritten laws that are enacted to enforce such discrimination, i.e. we don't allow such people within our group, blah, blah, blah. Yes, you may not say that out loud, but the general consensus is quite interesting how that does happen within groups and you may have noticed this yourself some of your own experiences throughout your lives that's happened and then Gordon Orpott put as physical attack now it may take the form of gang vault uh, within Gordon Orpott's um, results he went on to um, gang warfare uh, resulting from prejudice or um, take the form of defacing buildings or places of worship and we don't have to go that far to see where physical attack actually comes from I mean look at football hooliganism for example my team your team blah 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 and that's a perfect example of how this in turn becomes a physical attack this physical attack doesn't have to be in the form of physical violence it can also be in the form of emotional or psychological harm and that alone is assault the final step escalates from uh, murder to genocide, which obviously he was actually looking into the genocide of the Jewish community. In the context that we're looking at, what I'd like to highlight is that um, during World War II, the masses followed Hitler because of these gradual steps of uh, prejudice where people became conditioned to believe it be true. Now the Nazis were not Nazis because they were totally towards Hitler's frame of mindset. No, they were actually very well respected people. They were conditioned to become that way inclined simply because they were just following these five steps and gradually before they knew it they were conditioned to follow and they were known as Nazis. It's basically just to give you a quick insight into how our minds work and how prejudice works. Your classmates are a great way to practice these principles of working together as a team. You know, make an effort to meet up, work together and help each other out. Some people you will not get along with, which is understandable, and some people you will. But if we both try, if you both try to get along with each other, then there is a mediocre where you are actually coming for a purpose.